Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing for Cuckoo Knots. This is another one I was unaware that I got sealed. Um, there wasn't really any plastic over the cover of it, um, but as you guys can see here, the box itself is in pretty mint condition. I don't know how well you can see it. The corner's a little bit hit. It looks like due to scratching um, from um, storage, maybe sliding it around on some concrete. But if I open it up for you guys, you'll see here, everything is indeed sealed. On um, the original air packaging, uh, let's kind of take a look at some of this other stuff here. Um, with Cuckoo Knots, basically you are these aliens here, which let me open this up so you guys can kind of see some of these aliens. Look at these guys. Look how silly that is. You see that? That's hilarious. Such well-made too pieces. It's like really, really hard plastic. Um, so the goal is to get your little aliens to um, the launch spot to where you hit this little pump here that can shoot them up into the spaceship. See this little crater it like latches them in, which is such a neat idea. I actually had this game for quite some time and I thought it was already open so I, I had kind of let it collect some dust for a little bit. Um, I wasn't too aware of the gameplay um, but I kind of got caught up with a lot of some of the other games that I ended up picking up so I, I, I want to sadly say I almost forgot about this game. Um, but it almost looks like this is the launch pad so the pieces can kind of fit in those little grooves. Make it to the launch pad that will have this little, I'm guessing, tube running under it to transfer the air from the pump. Not too, too sure what all these, how all these pieces are going to fit just yet. But I will be very excited to do a review on this one. Uh, and when I do the review, I'll do kind of a piecing together once I've kind of broken everything here. But it's an unboxing, so let's open everything here. Almost looks like this is a little spaceship guy wonder if the spaceship guy, he almost looks like he clicks onto this. Ooh, that's so cool. Maybe there's like a little plastic cover that goes over top of it. I'm not too sure. I'm guessing little like wings for the game. Or a singular wing because it looks like that has a wing. So let's take a look here. I know I'm not told you guys I wasn't really going to piece it together but... I like to get some kind of visual for the um, spaceship there. Wow, that looks amazing. Um, so I see in here we have some more men. God, those guys look silly. We have blue, red, green. Oh no, one popped out. Let's actually take them out so I can get a better look. Oh, these guys are so silly looking. That is so cool. And then finally yellow. Very common colors. Looks like another piece to kind of that um, launch track here. here let me remove some of this plastic. I went over the pump there. It's almost like you slam it. And you probably want to get a good firm hit too when you launch them because I'm guessing if you don't put enough air they just fall come back down and um, from my knowledge they just go back to start um, but I will get to the instructions and explain a little bit more again when I do the review oh, that's so cool look at this just some silly Milton Bradley style art I know it's funny to say, but they're really cartoony with their stuff. But very clean design still in itself. These are, I'm guessing, ships. Maybe you get one when you don't make it. Ship. I don't know. We'll get there, I guess. Oh, this is where the spinner's going to go. Because that last little piece kind of showed off, it might have been hard to tell here, but that's kind of the arrow of the spinner with the little lock mechanism. In fact, 
I don't think it's gonna be very hard for me to put that together. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so, okay, I see it looks like this can be hopped out. Cool, that came out. Do, do, do. Ooh, and it spins really well. Because I remember a lot of games that had spinners back in the day that weren't that good. So cool. And that's a little trash pile. Milton Bradley, famous for a bunch of instructions in different languages, I guess so. Kind of get a little sneak peek here. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. Just out for my curiosity. Yep. No, it looks like this is English also. Maybe there's an instructions for everyone? There's another language here. But these seem to be the same language. I wonder why they did that. Maybe it's a miss type for me. I guess I'll learn a little bit more later. Yeah, this is another one I believe that's German. On the blast off test before you play. Misaligned tubing we want to make sure that I have. Of course that's something good. And of course all the languages. Well, back is a different language. Now we got another language. Cool. Oh and finally. The board. Look at the art design on this. So silly. Now, this is going to be such a wacky game. I'm super excited to review it. I'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Wait for it. Hey, look at that. So cool. But yeah, honestly, guys, that's Kukunats. Um, you're excited to see this. Um, I'm, again, following these unboxings with the reviews, so you'll be seeing it the week that I show this. So I'm excited for you guys. Um, again, um, that's this is honestly all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, though, there is a bell up there somewhere. Somewhere up there. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. Uh, as you guys know, I'm making these videos outrageous with commercials and all the wackiness that you guys love. Um, so I do appreciate all the feedback and support. I really do. And these unboxings, I've been getting pretty lucky about getting these vintage games. Um, sealed so whenever I do I'll be doing unboxings for them. I have a couple more um, that I have I'm kind of stashed away prior to um, doing one for this Um, so you'll be seeing a lot more coming soon uh, as for regular games I don't really see myself doing unboxings for them um, Unless they're like really new games or something um, really worth doing um, It's just wouldn't make sense to do unboxings for just any regular old game but if unboxings is something you like, let me know. Is there any games that um, you'd love to see unboxed that aren't vintage? Um, yeah, just let me know here. Uh, I'm trying to keep it mainly for vintage though. I'll be honest with you guys, mainly because uh, it's just cool to have them. And this is quite unique. I know there's a lot of guys who do unboxings regularly. Um, so if that's something you like, you might want to take a look at some of those channels too.